because that's the look that I'm going for. And somebody keeps texting me, but they texted me all day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my hair, my makeup, telling you guys what fragrance I'm wearing and putting together an outfit. So tonight I'm going to dinner with my girl and it's just very casual, very simple. I, I don't know what she's on, but I'm just not dressing up and this place isn't super like dressy. So yeah, um, that's what we're giving today. So um, if you want to see how I got this look, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channels, liking this video and keep watching. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I don't know. I don't know. Because like, I don't think the outfit's going to be giving because my life's kind of upside down right now. So we're just going to, you know, see where this takes us. But I'm definitely doing my hair and makeup on camera. So I have this wig from Eunice. It's a highlighted wig, but it is a water wave or a deep wave i believe it's a water wave you guys know how i feel about the water wave honey but it is brown and highlighted i have had a texture like this before but it was just a struggle because it was just too poofy i think that was deep wave hopefully this is a little bit more relaxed when i put it on it's so far looking like it because this is it like completely dry so we will see so i'm just gonna do my same old install do my thing and we're just gonna kind of speed through this i'm going to dinner tonight with my friend um, it's just really chill, but of course I have to get ready and I'm like, duh, Tasha, why don't you run guard? You know, I like to kill two birds with one stone. So that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to make sure that this is tight. I like my wigs tight. <sighs> I'm tired, you guys. I have been busy all day and I don't know how I ended up doing dinner today. I should have just said no. Not that I don't want to go but because like I just had a lot to do, but with me having to get ready and stuff, I got everything done earlier, but I am tired, you guys. And guess what? This is the last video I'm gonna be filming in my room, you guys. It's such a bittersweet moment. Um, I actually moved, um, well, I didn't move yet. Um, I got my keys last week and I haven't moved because I'm waiting on my furniture to get here, which was supposed to get here today, but it's not here. So as of now, I'm trying to like adjust these at the bottom, but um, as of now, this is the last video that I will be filming at home and it's kind of bittersweet. Like I'm like really excited, but I'm also like, I get attached to things. So it's kind of like a weird moment. Like everybody's like, how do you feel Tasha? Like, you know, it's my first time moving out. Um, and I just am like, I don't know. I won't know until um, I actually move out. I'm cutting the bottom of this. But I won't know until I'm actually out and set up and all that. So I'm really just kind of like taking it day by day. And that's also why I don't know what I'm wearing because my stuff is all over the place. Um, I've moved like a lot of my stuff over. So like I'm just kind of like <sighs> all just everywhere. So that's a tea because this video will probably be up before <laughs> the vlog because that's just how my life is um i've been slacking on the vlogs which i keep saying and i keep apologizing but it just is what it is like life has just been so busy i have things to do obviously so now you know but anyways um i'm gonna put this on i just cut the lace off on the back always cut that off because i don't even know why they put that there like i don't get it but um i put it to the tightest thing and i believe this is a 13 by 4 yes this is a 13 by 4 frontal and this is looking like 20 inches to me don't quote me but i will leave everything down below so i'm gonna put this on so i did wash this off camera and i did pluck it a little bit i did kind of overly pluck it because i just wanted it to look really like i don't know but i'm feeling it so far it doesn't look as poofy as the last time so i'm excited <laughs> Only thing is I wish I had a black wig cap, but I'm just gonna have to finesse because I cannot find any. And that's like, I always forget. I'm just gonna put notes in my phone because I always forget when I go to the beauty supply store to get a freaking wig cap. So um, this seems to be up to my likings right now. Just gonna pull that down as much as I can. And I'm going to clean my hairline. So I'm using my Erica J adhesive. Or not adhesive skin guard um this is the watermelon one and it's almost done 
I just ordered another one in her new liquid melt because you know my bold hold had like fell out everywhere so I'm like let me just try that I'm probably gonna order my bold hold again but I'm gonna see how that works instead of hoarding products because with this move you guys I realized I just am a freaking hoarder I collect things I have so many things with tags on them I have so many things I never use and it's actually pretty gross so I need to cut back on you know oh on the stuff that I've been buying but anyways um this is the watermelon one I got the regular one this time because the watermelon it just smells too sweet for me and it kind of makes me like nauseous sometimes I know it's so weird but anyways clean that off I'm about to spray So this is gonna be like half voiceover or sped up, half talking, because I feel like I've been boring you guys with the voiceovers. Um, but I just clean my hairline, I always do, because it's very necessary, y'all. I'm telling you, it's necessary. My installs last so much longer with them. So I'm going to, where's my scissors? Okay, so I had to stop talking because, let me tell y'all, it, it just felt like it was going left. But I think I kind of got it together. <laughs> so, um, ooh, I just wet my hair so that, I think I want to cut this side burn a little bit more. But I had to focus, but now it's giving summertime realness. I really do, I'm kind of liking the wet look today. I'm going to cut this side burn a little bit more because it's kind of ridiculous. Um but yeah this is pretty much it i'm not gonna really do more as far as styling 
I'm gonna make sure this ear tab is down though because this is the one that's exposed. So I think I'm gonna tie it down twice because I'm not playing with this ear tab. So I have this on and then I'm gonna do my silk scarf. All right, so we are in action. I'm about to zoom in so that we can get into this face. It's gonna be a quick, fun, bronzy face. So let's see. All right, so I'm done with my hair for now. It's pretty much done. I just need my lace to do right by me and we'll be on good terms. So now I'm gonna do my face. It's gonna be very minimal because that's just how I'm feeling today. Um, I've realized with curly hair, um, or you know, this is giving more curly, whatever. I just like a very fresh, bronzy kind of look. I want something very minimal. I don't really like the, tra the, the translate. I don't really like the super full glam with the curly hair on me. Looks great on you guys, but it just doesn't translate on me. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something still like full glam, but not like my typical, very like airy, very, you know, you guys know, you guys know how I do. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty um, primer, and this is the moisturizing one. I haven't used this in a while, but you guys know this is bomb. It is amazing. So I'm just gonna apply that all over but overall though i've been really into a more like dewy glowy kind of look which is like not out of my norm but like i've really been like making sure it's like glowy you know what i'm saying like it's giving skin because that's what we like and i've already done my skincare so my face was already pretty um moisturized and prepped but we did some more. And I'm gonna go on with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, the glow stuff. And I'm just gonna apply that all over. For one, it adds a little bit of coverage and it has this like really glow from within kind of look. It doesn't give you that Tin Man look. It doesn't give you that super highlighted look. It literally just looks like a glow from within. So I'm applying that all over. I still haven't gotten the bigger one because I still have product in this. I don't use this every day. So this is the mini one, but it typically comes in like a full like foundation size. So I'm just applying this. And that might be too much, I don't know, but that's how much I put on. And I'm just gonna buff it in with a brush. And you guys are gonna see, it's gonna add like minimal coverage, but it's really pretty. So if you have like really nice skin, unlike me, you can get away with this. I'm gonna slap this on and you'll be good to go. And it does give you this filter look because like I still have spots here, but it's creating this illusion of like super flawless skin. So it does exactly what it says. It's a flawless filter, airbrush, whatever the heck, okay? So now I'm gonna go on with my Fenty Skin in the shade number 20. And I'm gonna do like three swipes on this side. And I just wanna, I'm gonna just do it all at once. <laughs> And just a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin. And I'm gonna buff this in. Again, you can use your hands, but that is a bit too messy for my likings. So I'm just gonna use this foundation brush. And this is a Morphe M M439 brush. This is not my favorite. Well, I do like this Morphe brush. This is just not the one that I always use because that one's dirty right now, even though this one was dirty too, but that one was dirty, dirty. So <laughs> I just decided to use this one instead. And you guys know this is very, very light coverage. It's very lightweight, but that's just what I want today. I've just been in this little like natural phase. I don't know what's going on with me, but the looks are coming. The looks are coming. When I give you these looks, we're gonna be friends again. But for now, we're giving natural teas, okay? It's not going to give you full coverage if that's what you're looking for. It's literally just a veil. I'm going to dinner. It's a simple, quick thing. I just don't feel like I need a lot and I just want to be really comfortable. I don't want to feel like, oh, I can't touch my face. It's just not that kind of night for me. For me personally. So yeah. So now I'm going to be using my Milani concealer. This is a Conceal and Perfect. And this is a shade Warm Almond. This one is like exactly my skin tone. So I'm going to apply that first. And that's going to add more coverage ultimately but for some reason when you just use concealer it just doesn't feel as heavy as when you use like hella um foundation so i like to use 
concealer even when i use foundation i use very little found or very little foundation and i'll go in with more concealer that's just my preference so that's why i don't mind using the fenty skin because the skin tint because it's like right up my alley anyway. This is like my fourth time using it and I really do like it. But since that video, I hadn't been able to use it because I was doing like, you know, super full coverage, full glam. And it's weird that I'm going for this more natural look because my skin's actually going through it right now and my skin is terrible. I don't know what it looks like on camera. You guys have been like complimenting my skin and I've been in agreement with y'all up until right now because my skin is just like, I don't know, this whole side of my face has just been breaking out and it's not my pillow. I change my sheets, I wash my sheets, I don't sleep with a wig on. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like stress, maybe it's like this whole move situation is like, you know, new for me. So I don't know, but it's weird that it's only on this side. Like I have like craters on this side and y'all don't need to see that because it's not your business. But you guys, I'm so freaking hungry. Whenever I like have dinner dates or anything, I literally don't eat the whole day. Don't ask me why, that's just my strategy. I just don't like to like overstuff myself. I just don't. And I'm starving, so I'm gonna try to leave here a little earlier so we could just, you know, do our thing, but ciao. But anyway, so now I'm gonna use the shade Warm Tan. This is also Milani as well. I have just been really liking these concealers. And I'm just gonna lift it up. And I'm gonna let that sit because I really do want a bright under eye. Don't ask, there's no method behind my madness. I just do what I want. So now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty um, Matchstick and Espresso and I'm really gonna like lay it on there thick cause I wanna be super bronzy. And I feel like whenever I wanna be super bronzy like this, it just looks a lot better when I use like a lighter foundation or something lighter. It just translates so much better. So I can just like go ham with this like. I'm finna look so chocolatey. Mm. So now I'm just going to really blend that out and take my time. Again, I used a lot, but it's okay because that's the look that I'm going for. And somebody keeps texting me, but they texted me all day. Okay. You guys see? Do you guys see the bronzeness, the contouredness? I like it. So, anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer. The Milani concealer is so good, you guys. Like, it's definitely a staple. I neglect it sometimes, but when I come back to it, I'm like, wow, it's actually so good. It's super full coverage. Like, I love the finish of it. It's not too matte. It's not too soupy like it's literally just right so if you haven't tried this yet get your hands on it so i'm going to be using my pat mcgrath um setting powder in light medium two i really like this because it just melts into the skin and it still keeps my skin looking very skin like it's not too matte but you still want to set your concealer like i know we like this like super dewy skin like look but this is not going to last and your face is literally going to slide around so just go ahead set that in I'm just gonna press it in. You guys see how it set it, but it doesn't look like super matte or doesn't have like a cast or anything. I like to grab this one when I'm going for that kind of look. It actually helps my makeup last all day too. I don't know what Miss Pat put in this, but maybe it's like crap. Now, while my face is still kind of wet from the skin tint, I'm gonna go in with this cream blush by Fenty in Rose Latte. You guys know I always use this if I could just find a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my cheeks, of course, <laughs> because where else, right? No, blush isn't for everybody, but I personally do enjoy it. Um, so do what you like. Do what works for you. This is just the vibe I'm giving today. 
And just to set all that in, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm gonna set all over, just so I can lock that product in so my face isn't sliding around. So it's like you have to kind of use powder because it just helps with the longevity, but you don't wanna look super powdery and thick and casket ready. So you just gotta pick the right products. And this is more like a, a veil. It's not so like full coverage, but it has a really pretty finish. So it just works out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do these brows. I don't even know what I'm doing today or what I'm using. What is this? I'm gonna use this brow pencil from Morphe. No, from NYX in the shade Brunette. What is going on? And I'm just gonna, there's like hair all in there. And I'm just gonna do something quick to my brows. Like I don't even care about my brows today. Again, I don't even want a super sculpted brow. Why is my brow hairs like stuck together like that? Um, I don't want a super sculpted brow or anything. I just want it to be real, you know. Yeah. <laughs> The brow is doing too much. It is truly doing too much. Ugh. So now it's time for me to bronze up. I'm gonna take Coco Naughty and a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kinda messily apply that bronzer. Cause I don't want it to be really sculpted today. I mean I do, but I don't. <laughs> but I am gonna sculpt this nose. Everything is just, <laughs> you guys, when I tell you, it is, it's just a struggle over here. I'm gonna use my Japanese brush and I'm gonna carve out my nose. So I'm gonna go into this NARS blush. This is, oh, not falling out. This is the NARS Exposed palette and I'm gonna like just mix a few shades and just add a little bit more blush because I really like the finish of these. They're so like satiny and soft but not like illuminating i feel like i used to think that like if it was illuminating it would look more skin like but that's not the case at all so glad we're past that phase and i'm just gonna put a little bit of coco naughty in my on my eyelids because i don't want my eyelids to be bare i'm gonna pop some lashes on and we're gonna go on about our day okay this probably looks like my typical full glam which is actually kind of a good thing it just is way lighter and if you don't like foundation, I mean, hey, you can achieve literally the same look. So I'm going to use this Fenty um, What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray just to give me like a really melted kind of, well, I don't want to melt, but you, you know what I mean. And I love how like it gives my face this like nice soft dewy look without like making my face too wet because sometimes just too much I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes on and I'll be back all right so I put on my lashes I honestly think they're two different lashes but like I kind of don't care either like this one's like fuller but like I don't see the matching you it doesn't even matter anyways I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury to just lock everything in Don't need too much of that. You see the difference in the spray, it like really drowns my face. Whew. Then I'm gonna go on with my e.l.f. gloss in Pink Cosmo. It is a plumping gloss, so it does have a little tingle to it, but I'm not really sure if it plumps my lips or not because I kind of already have lips, so yeah. And I'm not doing any liner because I just like that super pink look. 
Today it's giving dead though. I don't know. It's gonna roll with it, okay? All right guys, so <laughs> we came together. We came together. This is the hair. It does not look bad. The lace is a little bit too dark for me, but it's literally not the end of the world. It's just me being super picky. I feel like I look super like light and just nat natural. Um, but before I show you guys my outfit, I'm gonna tell you guys what fragrance I'm wearing today. I'm gonna be wearing Hex from Rebel Scents. Um, it smells really good. It actually kind of smells like YSL Libre, but like sweeter. Just a little bit more like wearable, I guess, because Libre is a little bit very grown. It's very in your face, you know what I'm saying? This one's just a lot softer, but it still has that like grown scent to it. So I love this. Of course, I got this recommendation from Kyra and I love it, I just keep spraying myself. So Hex is described as a warm floral sparkling. I've never heard sparkling before, but it's very accurate. And it has bergamot, raspberry, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, oak moss, and white musk. So those are the scents in it and it smells so good. So now that we've gotten past the fragrance, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my outfit. Again, it's a very chill outfit. We're just going to dinner and coming home. So yeah. All right guys, so this is my outfit. I did change my earrings from what you guys saw in the intro, outro. Um, I have these silver studs on, my JBW watch. I'm gonna link my code below. And I have on this camel button down with some jeans and the black studded Steve Madden shoes can you guys see i don't think you guys can see let me see so maybe you guys can see now so yeah i have the black studded steve madden shoes and i have my mark jacobs bag um it doesn't like match but it kind of goes i just wanted to wear these shoes because i feel like it made the outfit a little bit edgier or dressier um and then i just want to carry this bag because it holds my camera so that is my outfit today you guys it's super simple you know what i'm saying not doing too much nice little midday dinner look or supper should i call it so yeah i'm gonna like step back again let you guys see oh and you guys probably want to know the shirt is honestly i've had this for years like i've just had this up for so long it's probably my mom's but it's mine now but yeah the jeans are free people and i don't know the exact style but these are like the best jeans hands down like i have them in black, I have them in a darker wash. I need another pair of these because these are my favorite wash of jeans, but I freaking love them. So this is the fit for the day and I'm about to go because I'm about to be late. So I will see you guys later. So you guys, that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.